Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Nichols and today I'm going to show you how to take an IR of a solid by first making a KBR pellet and by using a benchtop 2 ton KBR press. The first thing you'll do is put a very small amount of the sample you want to analyze into a mortar. We normally don't weigh this out. Um, if you were, it would be like a couple of milligrams, but just get like a tiny amount on the end of a spatula and use that. This is not a very precise method. It normally works with just eyeballing kind of amounts. Uh, next, you wanna get the KBR solid. We normally keep this in a desiccator because it's highly hygroscopic. It absorbs water from the air. This part we will measure though. So you can put that mortar onto a centigram balance and then just scoop out the KBR until it weighs somewhere between like 0.1 and 0.2 grams. But again, this is not very precise. And actually if you go over, that's a lot of times works kind of better to tell the truth. So don't worry if you put too much. Then you're gonna use the pestle and grind this stuff together. And you wanna create like a real, uh, a fine powder. You do want to make sure that you mix the sample in with the KBR. So periodically you want to kind of, you know, tap the mortar and make sure it dislodges. Um, otherwise you won't actually be grinding the sample together. So make that a nice powder and then you're ready to move on. So the next thing is we have these little, um, they're called anvils, but like uh, things that, that will hold the sample and we keep those in the desiccator as well. You wanna first take the part that has like these two pieces and it actually has a little um, indent in the bottom. That's where the sample's gonna go into that little hole. So take a spatula tip and uh, put like a small amount of the KBR sample mixture into the hole. This is a part where you don't want to add too much. You kind of don't want to add too little either, but like if you overload it, you're going to get a really thick, opaque KBR pellet and we don't want that. So we want basically like the minimum amount of sample that it will, it will just cover um, that hole in like a very thin layer. So you put some in and then you tap it on the, um, countertop to try to spread it out into like a really thin layer and it's actually better if there's like a tiny gap in between like the um, sample and like the edges because that means that you're going to actually squish it out and it'll be like really thin because then you take this second piece and you turn that over top of it and then you put it in and you just kind of jostle it a little bit you're trying to like spread that powder out into like an even thinner layer and getting it to like totally touch the sides now. Okay, and now you are ready to go. So that is gonna go into our um, two ton press. We have to make sure that there's space for it. So you can first unscrew the top so that there's a hole there. And then you put it in and it'll, it'll kind of catch. Um, and then you screw the top so that it's touching and like just give it like a tiny bit of pressure. And then the real magic is when we use the hydraulic press. So that thing at the front, you're gonna turn and it is gonna increase the pressure inside um, or it's pushing down on that pellet in a very big way. It's amazing, it doesn't take much force with your hand, but we are exerting huge pressures here. You wanna go until it reads about like 1.7, 1.8 tons. Don't go over two tons, that could break the whole thing but you go to like 1.8 and then you just let it sit there. And this is actually melting the KBR. Let it sit for like 10 seconds or so. After that 10 seconds, you're then gonna unloosen the pressure. So you unscrew it, so it's read zero, and then you unscrew the top. And that KBR will have melted. And now when you, uh, you know, put the, um, go back to normal atmospheric pressure, it will then re-solidify and turn into a glass. So here you wanna do this delicately. You're gonna like carefully take off this top. The KBR pellet is gonna be a little fragile and you like carefully pull out that middle part, kind of just like wiggle it. So here we go, here is our KBR pellet. It's semi-transparent. You can see light going through it. You can see my hand behind it, right? 
we normally don't get a perfect glass um, that's completely clear. That's kind of impractical. There's going to be little spots that are still solid and opaque, but as long as it's not very opaque in the middle, it's probably going to work just fine. You do also want to make sure that the pellet doesn't fall out. It needs to stay in place and then it's ready to, uh, to go. Then at the IR instrument, you can open the flap and we have holders that are designed to hold onto the, um, that little middle piece perfectly. So just put that in the machine and run the IR as normal. And then to clean up, you can just use a small spatula and poke out the KBR pellet into some mortar and eventually, you know, put that in the waste beaker. You can use a Kim wipe and just kind of wipe out any residue inside. And then be very careful with those little protrusions on those other parts. Just like delicately wipe that off. You don't really want to touch those very much. Um, then you can just put those back in the holder and, and you're done.